Or hello guys, my name is Jack, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a border to your selection in Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's whip out the example photo, and for this I'm going to use Trevor from GTA 5. Alright, now let's make a quick selection A. Or just don't mind me, I'm just going to select something random. Okay, cool. Now that we have our quick selection, we can go into Select, Modify, and then click Border. Alright, now it starts us off at around 6 pixels, but I think that's a little bit small for Trevor, eh? So let's bump it up to 7, or maybe 8 actually. Okay, now that I've decided on my border selection width, I'm going to click OK, and as you can see, it has turned my selection into a border. Alright, next I'm going to rasterize the image if I have to, and then now you can just drag over your fillings or your gradients however you want. For me, I'm just going to drag my gradient over and give Trevor a nice little blue DA. Eh? Or oh, Trevor, you're looking pretty manly here now, eh? Or oh, I think he's a good one too. Okay, now for a more practical use case example. Something like an alignment chart, eh? Okay, so just like the previous one, let's make a selection. The quick selection tool works pretty well for this, since it's a pretty simple shape. Or you can use the rectangle marquee tool as well. Alright, so like the previous one, you go to select, modify, and then border. Now I don't think the square is as thick as Trevor, so why don't we take down the width to about 6a. Then you click OK, and now, as you can see, you have a pretty sexy border here, and now you can do the same thing. For this, I'm just gonna choose fill A, and then click our color, and make it green, like here. And OK again, and there we go. Now we have a pretty cool looking green border. And just like that, my alignment chart looks a lot better. Or maybe I made a, maybe should have made a bit thicker, eh? Like Trevor. OK, anyway, thank you for watching. My name has been Jack, and I hope you all have a good one, eh?